would say. And uh, Apathy Syndrome with us today. They've uh, they've re rearranged themselves onto the couch. We got it's the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse over there. <laughs> or the Four Horsemen, but I'm trying to figure out which one is Flame. Which one's Ric Flair? Which one's Billy Blanchard? You know? Is it all I know? Who? Jeff Hardy. I didn't watch stuff. Brother Nero. Hey, I'm huge wrestling, Mar. We we could talk wrestling all day long. It is. <laughs> Apathy Syndrome with us today. They're going to be part of a big show at the Rusty Needle this evening. And they are playing with Conquer the Pacific. And uh, that is going to be a heck of a deal. And uh, you guys, uh, I love the masks. I love the, 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 I don't know if you'd call it a get-up or a gimmick. I, I don't know. I, I love the whole thing. Some G-thing, yeah. <laughs> some G-thing. Yeah, some g thing. <laughs> Derailing quickly. Uh, <laughs> we reorganized the couch and the interview is just off the rails at this point. <laughs> How did you guys come up with the look? Well, so we go through it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> really, these guys were just talking about wrestling. Some of us did not grow up. <laughs> Yeah. It's kind of when we when we when dress up like that, there's kind of more of a a character comes out, you know, kind of when we, the, the music kind of I don't really know how to put it to the list, but like it, it becomes a lot more real to it. That's cool. So uh you guys are, are doing this three day leg, uh White Chapel, and then you're playing tonight and you're gonna be at the elbow room in Wichita. And uh, then you guys go home and start kind of working to finish this uh, the CD. Mm -hmm. uh, and are you going to have, have a big full-fledged, huge tour after that? We have big things in the works. That's cool. It would be nice to have time. It seems like this one is going to be a weekend out, but like, the last like, four weekends it's been, you know, go, 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 go. Yeah. When you guys go uh, back out, back out on this on this tour, is it just going to be you guys plan on to any bands with you? Or? Well, after we don't have any anything real long planned for the rest of the year. We basically, most of one off as we go to Hong Kong, come back, so we'll yeah. come back. Um, so it'll just be us in that next year. Like I said, a lot of, a lot of big things in work. So yeah, yeah Carnival Razors. That's up to you. That's cool. So, yeah. For folks that don't know what that is, explain. Valor Ballroom is a big kind of a historical venue yeah. in Des Moines. It's 2,700 cap, two stages. Um, we're running both stages. There's vendors and sponsors. We get you know food uh, there. We also got tattooing. This year we've got like Blue Felix, Dead Horse Drama, wow. Screaming for Silence, Us, a bunch of the you know, bigger bands in Des Moines like Absolute Power and Through the Darkness. Um, big two stage event. Dead Horse Rama, they just they just were through here. Yep. Well, I don't know about a 
couple couple weeks ago, something like that. Yeah. yeah. They had been having all the band troubles. There's always a <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> any band that like has a reasonable reason to like actually quit the show, right? it would be them. It would be them. They, yeah. they, they, <laughs> they get every curveball thrown at them and they just, they just keep swinging. They just keep going. Just you know, so those be like they're one of those bigger bands that we do like, up there, especially on your Joe. We just like the way that they grind down the road, like, it's, that is their day job. I mean that's yeah. what they do for a living. That's one reason why they just won't give up on it. Well, they were telling they were telling us about a show that that uh, some of them split up as they were trying to go get this new vehicle, and then the other two were setting up the show. And the promoter was like, "Hey, you need you need to get going. We 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 gotta go. We gotta go." And they pulled right in the parking lot, jumped out of the, jumped out of the van or whatever, jumped, they did their thing. And... So yeah, they uh, they they bust butt. That is uh, that is definitely something. Right, yeah. Tanner's done. <laughs> We've got Timothy Syndrome with us today here in studio. They're going to be part of a big show tonight at the Rust for the Pacific. And uh, Apathy Syndrome is available on social media as well. What, what's, what's the social media buzz like for you guys? Because you guys have got a pretty following on social media. Uh, um, so your choice is probably, you know, like us and follow us there. Um, or Facebook.com, that'll be kind of sick. You can use like it. Um, uh, yep. after these 2012. Uh, Facebook, I mean, it kind of sucks because they, they suppress your post on your page, so it's hard. <laughs> we got, yes. we got like 4,200 people that follow us, and we'll make a post in 200. It's too Facebook. Like, it was only, a, it was only a show on that thing. Thanks. So you gotta got be on the ball, fall on it. We're trying to do a little more on YouTube as well. That's cool. So. Yeah. Well, I see a lot of bands and more stuff on YouTube, so that's cool. You guys are jumping on, the, jumping on the bandwagon there and getting thing going. Huh. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we got dad jokes. <laughs> Apathy syndrome with us today, and uh, you guys are gonna be. Uh, doing an instrumental set yeah. this yeah. evening. Special last, instrumental set. Last night was a little weird. Like you know, earlier, Steve mentioned we do get up. And we still play what we want to play. Yeah. There are parts of the song where Joe cues, you know, we're into the next part of the song. But last night, the one part where, like, and then that just kept it rolling. Like we we stayed together. I mean, that's what's great about being tight as a band. But like, yeah, you, know, you, can, you can tell it's a little weird, but. It, it's still, it's a good show. That's cool. Yeah, and it's, I mean, it's nice to have the front man there, too, to kind of get the crowd into it and sort of incite them to violence, you know. That's <laughs> good. That's always good. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> so, uh, have, have you, have, did you think about, I, I guess it wasn't, I guess you weren't able to, to make it work as quick because he would have had to learn all songs and everything, but did you think about me taking somebody with you to fill it in. We we literally found out about this like hours before we were sitting. Oh, oh like, yeah. Okay. It was <laughs> that's we a little planning, that's a little soon. We were waiting to load the bus at like eleven and hit the road by one and we found out like ten thirty five or whatever. Ken and I were at the guitar center, you know, just dicking around yeah. the time and Zach was like, Hey are you gonna grab get here something come up we get there and find out Joe's car we're like, what the hell are we gonna do? Short little band meeting and say no, like, well, we're going to clear it up. And then, cheers, and they lost their singer, and they finished the whole tour. And yeah. Like, but yeah, I mean, the music's still good. We were asking for if he wants to sing the song, and he turned very, very white. Yeah, I started getting my real nervous. I was like, oh, man. Like, I'm, I'm able to do, like, one or two songs, but, I mean, that's interesting. I might say all the night. Yeah. <laughs> we, we, we do have quite a few good vocals back in the morning that we considered. But yeah. We, we had minutes. Yeah. Of yeah. This. yeah. It's not like you're going to call somebody to drop a bat. Yeah, that's right. We're in half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> we're more 
so A heck of a deal. We've got bad these under a sec. Yeah, you really make you can't really make plans within a few hours. People say, well, we've got uh, we're, we're, we're leaving now. So, learn the set. Yeah, learn the set. We've got to make us for a white chapel on the very first night or whatever it yeah. was. And, <laughs> we actually get a response from the, from the people that you know, they were taking set and stuff, so I was a little surprised that I wasn't expecting to finish your mouth down for it. No, no, yeah. no, 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 no. Well, that's cool. Well, uh, they're, they're going to be part of a big show out at the Nils evening, and uh, we're going to let them know so they can go load it in and get screwed out. and uh, loaded. It, it'll be, uh, now are you, I'm assuming you guys are playing outside this evening. We have. We'll Every time we've ever played at the needle, we've been outside. Both times we've been outside, so we'll, okay. uh, we'll find out when we get there. Well, the la last. They haven't had any issues the last couple shows, but they're there for a while. We had some issues with the woman uh, who lives behind the needle. Right, she like, loves all the cops. <laughs> she loves call the cops. And Hemlock thought about just jumping in her pool after they were done <laughs> playing. <laughs> A lot of you gotta call cops for something. Might as well call we're for that. Have the syndrome with us today. We are going to uh, say goodbye to everybody on the Facebook. And uh, on, if you listen to us on, on the stream or live at uh, we will be back here in a few moments.